showing you what's in my toolbox. So, let's go. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so this is my toolbox. It's really old. And we're going to see what's inside of here. So, first, let's open it up. And we have, oops, the camera's still. have a few things. So, first, we have some steel wool. My all time favorite. Um, Fred polisher silver. Next, we have a hat, which is actually a knob, a strap, a knob. Then we have a few Dario picks. These were like it says the Dario on the front, a classic on the back. These are 70 millimeters, which is a medium. These were about three dollars, two ninety nine, not including shipping. Well, I don't know if it has shipping or not. Then we have some pliers. Really good pliers. New pliers, because I made a video on all of my tools. And this is just what I keep in my toolbox. But I have old pliers, and these are better. Because they have like a spring in the middle. And it's better for me. We have an earning ball, um, earning ball, um, cloth, microphone cloth, and don't like microphone cloth. And um, my top three favorite guitar brands is the Dario, the Lump, and, and Ernie Ball. Then we have this, the Dario, is it Dario? The Dario? I think it's the Dario. It's a, um, $10. Um, I paid six because it's not the actual Dario, but it really looks like it. I paid six dollars for this. I'll leave the link to this. Make sure there's a link to this in the description down below. Oh, it's a string winder and clippers um, for acoustic guitars. The, um, what's it called? <laughs> but it pulls up the thing that holds the strings like in like in the bridge. Then we have some of these, um, these so soldering irons, for some, I have a bunch of these, this is not going to be this was $4 for six of them, and then you could get one for $8 for 20 of them, yeah, those are good. Then we have a capo, because every guitar needs a capo. Then we have a screwdriver. Again, every guitar <laughs> needs a screwdriver. And then, oops, can't even see it. And if we turn it here, we have some steel wool. I keep like three pads of steel wool in here. Let's go try to go to the second row. I'm not sure if it's really gonna go. The second row. Let me see. Um, you can't really see the second row here, but I'll just hold it right here. You can kind of see. We have some of these. Not feel gauges. What are they called? Radius gauges. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. You're, they're pretty sharp. I got these on Amazon with a few different things. They have the, um, the sizes on them, as you can see. So these are okay. Be on the lookout for like a, um, for a, a setup video. I'm gonna be using most of these tools. I'm gonna clean. Next, we put that up there. Next, we have one of these fret ruler thingies. Or, no, not fret ruler. <laughs> um, string action ruler, actually. I haven't used this yet, or this, but we're gonna be on the lookout. Let's be on the lookout for a new video when it comes out. Maybe next Monday, I'm not really sure. 
but in the back here in that same pocket, we have a uh, um, ruler. I'm not sure if you need this for guitar, but I do have it just in case. Put this back really quick. Then here we have um, uh, some soldering wire or whatever you want to call it. Wake. I don't think it's called soldering wake. But I personally like this because your hands can be back here and will not burn your hands. So, I do like this. Next, we have some running stuff. I don't really use garden stones. I don't think it's that good, but I still have it just in case. This is, if this is all I have, then maybe I'll use it. But I'm not a fan of running stones. In that same pocket, well, not in the same pocket, but in the same row. I have some Dodario, again, Dodario. Hydrate fingerboard conditioner. Quick question. Are you supposed to use lemon oil and conditioner? Or are you supposed to use one? And then, like, next time you change your strings, or next time you need to clean your guitar, you use the other one. I'm not sure which one it is. Then we have some graphite. No, it's not graphite. This is bone nut. Then we have some steel wool. Some more steel wool. Alright, next. We have this pocket, which will be easier. Way easier to, to show you guys. It. So today, in here we have... I'm grinding stone. I mean, not grinding. I'm not saying. I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to look outside. My window's open and I just heard a noise. So. Oops. Oh, I keep dropping it. So we have three Music Nomad um, fret guards with the handle. They're really good. One. When using these, it's when well when needing um fret guards, these those can be helpful than using the one without the handle because sometimes um you can't really use it in a position you're at and sometimes it, if you have the one with the handle you have to work a little less. Then we have some feel gauges here. I haven't used these either. I literally just got most of the stuff. I've been trying to, before I make the video, trying to, um, no, I've been trying, before I use it, make the video. Then we have some wire. I use a lot of wire. And it came with my solder, soldering iron, and I, my guitar wouldn't be working if I didn't have this. So, yeah, I'm glad I got that. Then we have some fret, some more fret guards, the normal ones that you will get. I got these in a kit that came with this, um, the grinding stones, um, the feeler gauge, and, no, not the feeler gauge, the radius gauge, and the, um, fret action ruler. Yes. Then we have crowning a cheap one. I really want this to map, but I'm trying to save it for that. It's a, a radius. No, not a, I don't know what I'm saying. It's a um, crowning um, fret file. Then we have two, two of these um, tweezers. We have a straight one. And then we have like a curve one. Then we have some locking tuner buttons. I have here. 
and they're two nuts. I usually have looking for it. I usually have my smart tuner in here because this tuner, I don't even have a battery for this. It ain't even come with a battery. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm, I told you about that or not. But, yeah. We have my favorite um, Latan cleaner and polisher. Dunlop 65. It works great. And something. Another one that I really like is. Ooh. Uh, I'm shaking. One, another one I really like is the Ernie Ball um, instrument polish. These both came with the microfiber cloth. They both came with the, the microfiber cloth. So, yeah. Then we have paint brush. When I'm doing um, when I'm um, polishing my frets with steel wool, I cover up my my pick my pickups and then. Like when as I go, I like brush off the um the steel wool or yeah the steel wool that's left. We have a screwdriver. If you just look at it, you probably won't know what it is. So I'm gonna tell you in a second. Another screwdriver. I love screwdrivers. Kilometer. Some of these, I'm not really sure what these are called. We have some of these giant, I call them giant um, uh, string cutters, but you can call them whatever you want. We have the Dunlop 65. I bought the Dunlop 65. Um, polish it um, separate from this I, if I would have bought buy it together it would be it, it would have been more money so buy it separate check it out separate before you buy it together this is a lemon lemon oil no not lemon <laughs> ultimate lemon oil sorry this is the ultimate lemon oil. and then I usually have like tape and then the bottom, I have some nose, long nose pliers, I think that's what you call them. We got some, the dial XL 10 to 46 nickel wire strings. And I have two different kinds of strings. Right now, I like these two, and these are the nickel wire. 49s XL to dial strings. So between these two, then I have this um, Dunlop, this Dunlop um, fret polish or system fret polisher. Then I have the Dario fret polishing system, and that's what this was. That's what that was. And, yeah. Then we have my soldering iron and soldering stand. I'm getting a new soldering stand mainly because I don't always want to take it out when I like have to solder. I like to keep one on my desk. And one of my boxes, I have to get another one. So, I'm getting a new one that's way more sturdy than that. I will not touch my table. This is just a little screw kit. Got a few different outer wrenches. I have like, like, a, a, like a whole pack of outer wrenches. I don't know where it went. I have a whole big thing of other wrenches. And I think that might be it. We still got you know, um, this ruler. Yeah, just play on And when soldering, this isn't in my box, but I would use this. Like, I keep it out because I like to put it on display, but this thing is 
so helpful. This is helping hands. Um, for my, f I like saw it on my favorite YouTubers for overnight. His video, and I was like, I have to have it. Like, it's so cool, and it's so helpful. I mean, why would it be called helping hands if it wasn't helpful? And I think that might be it. Yeah, that's really it. I, this is, that's just, oh, here's my, my slack tuner. I keep the start tuner up on, on the top shelf. And yeah, that's it. Alright. Alright, guys. That's it for today. And until next time, keep on playing. Bye, guys. Thank you.